Last week on the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we kicked off the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bass presented by Berkeley. The week started off clear and sunny, but on tournament morning, a massive front pushed through, dropping more than four inches of snow. Yeah, we go from t-shirts and shorts yesterday till we got our winter gear out for in the morning with the 30s, rain, snow. I mean, it, it's gonna be anybody's ball game. I, I think it'll help the fishing down honest with you. I, I do. A little pressure moving in, I think you'll have a fish bite. Despite the tough conditions, Kentucky Lake lived up to its reputation as one of the best big bass fisheries in the country. After the first three sessions, it was Corey Neese from Tusculum College on top of the field with a bass weighing better than seven and a half pounds. There's a record field of anglers on hand this week. They're fishing for a total purse worth $30,000 and double points toward the Cabela's School of the Year standings presented by Abu Garcia. Due to the potential for extreme weather, this event has been shortened to one day, which may affect our competitors' strategies. Uh, we're actually going to trailer. We're going to go put in way south. Um, we're not going to try to make the every way in and get as much prize as we can. We're going to, you know, all three of us are going to be in productive water, see if we can, one of, one of us three, catch a winning fish and come in the last hour. So It's going to make things very interesting, getting that away in every single hour as opposed to every other hour. I think it's going to stretch those weights a little bit wider. So whereas people caught some maybe nice three or four pounders last year and that didn't make the cut, I think this year that will because those, they have less time for people to get in there and they're not going to want to travel as far as often. On tournament morning, anglers launched onto Kentucky Lake amidst high winds, freezing temps, and a heavy snow. Dude, do you have any idea how cold my toes are right now? <laughs> Try to stick it out as long as you can. Hope you, it only takes one fish for this tournament, so hopefully we'll, we'll run into a good one here. This is Hunter Hatcher from Mississippi State University. We were just kind of beating the bank, um, weren't really on much the last, last couple of hours and uh, you know we got to this rocky point here, um, there's a stake bed off of it and just slowed down and worked it a little bit and uh, ended up casting across the point and as soon as the trap came back across the point, uh, Rod loaded up and set into it and didn't fight real hard and I didn't even realize how big of a fish it was until uh, it got up next to the boat so just worked out and now it's in the live well. So. <laughs> It's it's definitely up there. Like I said, that's 100% my uh, my personal best. So doesn't come at a much better time than a big fish tournament. So we're gonna start session four, presented by Garmin. Back at Paris Landing for session four, Northern Kentucky University's Cole Wessner rounded out the top three with a fish pushing the scales to 540. This is Tristan McCormick's second fish of the day, and he'll lock up second place with 581. Vika Zatareg fishes for Southern Illinois University, and he'll earn his team valuable School of the Year points. And he'll also cash in on some great Garmin gear for winning session number four with 656.